Shakespeare Pub, which is over by the Victoria Station in London, Victoria. Um, and I'm gonna go to Westminster Abbey. I decided that's what I'm gonna do last night, so it should be fun. And I'm excited to see where all the coronations take place and um, funerals, stuff like that. So it'll be nice to see. I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, so getting an English breakfast here at this pub because it's 11.30 and they don't serve lunch yet. So something interesting. I feel every pub like puts like a lemon or a lime in your coat. I, I, I don't know. That's a thing in the U.S. It's five, so good. I think I'm gonna go down to the Thames after this and take a look. I do have a little gift shop and I did get something. Let me show you. So, that. if you know me, you know I collect art prints of like where I've gone. And so I got one here. Nice to see this without all the scaffolding that I saw in 2020.
where my brother would be. <laughs> A little bit younger, I might be over there too. I used to love skateboarding. in the first class lounge, just waiting for my train and drinking a lemonade that's free because uh, I'm bougie in the first class. <laughs> it's a couple hours before the train leaves, so just chilling here. I'm excited to get on the train because I'm extremely tired and I need that bed. <laughs> Officially fancy. Got priority for it. All right, I'm on the outside of the train going on the platform. Um, so the train does split. The first part goes to, looks like Edinburgh or something like that. Yeah. And then my part goes to Glasgow. So I'm going towards the back of the train. And yeah, be cool. All right, here I am, L train. L2 is my cabin number. There's my little ensuite. I'll, I'll of course do a little tour. <laughs> Let's do a little room tour here. Uh, so it's a bunk bed situation. So if you're traveling with two people, you would have space for two, but it's just myself. I'm a solo, solo traveler. Uh, so you get two beds, towels as well. And um, it has window lights. Um, you can call a host if you need like room service or something, USB chargers, regular plugs as well. And then there are some controls up here too for the person up here. Maybe just a little bit less than the other one. And it does have a spot where you can like hold your phone when it's charging, which is kind of nice. And then window with a basin here, a little trash can. Here's your room card. You would activate that yourself. It's like a hotel key card, they say. And you get some nice soap. Outside of London. And then they do give you a little amenities kit if you're in a club car. So they give you, looks like body wash. And like shower gel and stuff, body lotion, and I guess that's shampoo, and I don't know what that is. We'll take a de deeper look in that in a second here. Also, this little sleeper kit, so we'll look at that in a second. Okay, the bathroom looks like they have like more towels in here, and here's a little shower head. So it's like a like one of those like washrooms that you like see in Japan and stuff. Here's the loo. Nice. That's magnetic, so I guess when you are using it, it will hold it there for you. And I guess you have to close, kind of like a cruise ship, you have to close it down to flush. That would make sense. <clears throat> and then as far as storage goes for your items, um, there are some space underneath the bed. It's really not that much. I've, I saw some videos before that people were like, that's a lot of space. I don't think so. I mean, that's like a carry-on size and it's like raised up a little bit, but it could very, very barely fit in there. So keep that in mind. Don't bring a lot, but yeah, I mean, it works for me. Solo travel, right? But yeah, I mean, you have this little mirror here, which is kind of an awkward angle, but I guess they put it like that so you can like technically be sitting here and doing your makeup, but it's not gonna work for me. I'm gonna have to use my own mirror. And then here is the little breakfast nook, which is cool. There we go. And um, yeah, looks pretty comfy. I think I'm gonna enjoy it. And uh, let's check out room service. 
So my card does include breakfast. Um, so I'll be able to choose one of these options here. And there are some dinner stuff too. So if you come on board and you're hungry, you can get some food right away. I probably won't. Some wine. Spirits. Oh, and there are two different sections. There's like a lowlander and a highlander. So I guess this also has different um, options if you're going on a highlander. I'm going on a lowlander one because I'm going to Glasgow. And some tea. Cute. Okay, and then also my train is supposed to be a little late tomorrow because I guess it has to go slower up to Scotland because of high winds or something. So, um... It says this, like, if you want to, like, be alerted if it's going to be delays or disruptions. Um, I don't know if I'm going to click this or no. We'll see. And then this is where you choose your breakfast. Also, I get chocolates, and I get two because I'm alone. <laughs> that means technically I could get two breakfasts, too, because I have two breakfast cards. I'm not going to though. Let's take a closer look at these amenity kits here. So we get a hand and body lotion. Um, body wash. And what is this? A pillow spray. Oh, we're going to be fancy. And shampoo. And this guy we have face mask, eye mask, earplugs, and that's it. Cool. And I have two of them because there is one up for the top bed too, so I'm going to take one home as a little souvenir. Okay, so I'm going to choose my breakfast items and stuff. I, I don't know what the traditional Scottish breakfast though, but it says it's served exclusively in the club car, so I think that means they can't deliver it to your room. But I don't know if it says in here what that is. Because I'm like, if it's good, maybe I'll like go out of my way to get it. I don't know. No, it just has a dinner menu in here. I don't see the breakfast, so I don't know what the traditional Scottish breakfast is. I want to know. But also, I don't really want to get up out of the morning and go to the club car. Because that would mean I'd have to get ready before breakfast. Ooh. Okay, I am gonna go with just the Scottish porridge pot. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that, right? <laughs> okay, so L2 Scottish porridge pot. Oh, this is hard to do with my one hand. There we go. Boom. Scottish porridge pot. So can't go wrong with that, right? And some tea, of course. Because, you know, when in Rome, or in this case, the UK. Prefer time. Okay, so we have to see and light it so I can go with 6. I'm going to probably do 610. Location in room. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Brilliant. And on the back. Uh, do I want them to wake me up if they're delayed? I'm going to say no because I don't want to be woken up. Okay, cool. Also, I don't think I showed it, but this is a really nice mirror that's here. So this is probably what I'm actually going to use to do my makeup in the morning. So I didn't show off. There's two water bottles. That's important too to know. Um, and also temperature controls. Also good to know. And another USB. Hey. Is this a dimmer? It is. Ooh, it's lighting. <laughs> we still have about an hour before we leave. So I think I'm going to go over to the club car and check that out a little bit. Oh, 
As you saw, I had the sausage, uh, the Wellington. Um, it was actually pretty good. Um, it was kind of spicy for British food. I was surprised. Like there was a bit of kick and there was like little beans on the side. I showed it in that in the video pre previous to this, but um, yeah, it was had a little kick. I was like, ooh, a little spice. <laughs> but yeah, I liked it. Um, but yeah, now we're about to leave in like 15 minutes or so. A little less than 15 minutes. Um, so yeah should be on our way soon and uh, so I'm gonna get ready for bed and then once I'm ready for bed it should be time for us to leave and we're leaving let me turn oh that's the window light oh, leaving. Cool. I turn off the lights so we can see better goodbye London we'll be back in literally a week <laughs> see if I'll be able to sleep. I, I'm gonna use the earplugs. It is a little bit loud. Uh, and luckily my Apple Watch should wake me up still because it'll vibrate, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Some things to note. Um, it is kind of loud uh, and I can hear like sloshing from like the restroom, like water, like in the pipes. It's not like actually in the restroom, it's like in the pipes. Uh, so, and I'm a really, I'm a light sleeper, so I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm going to try, I, and I have tried, but I'm going to try to fall asleep. It's still early in the journey, by the way, like, I don't know, excuse the no makeup. I took my makeup off for bed, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, it moves a lot, it's kind of loud, I don't think I'm going to sleep, but I am trying my best, and we'll see if I get any... So I say this all as like a warning to you. If you are also a light sleeper, keep that in mind. Um, I mean, I still think it's gonna be worth it because it's like, I'm not wasting any time traveling during the day, um, but I might be tired tomorrow. But I've been tired this whole trip because I have not been sleeping well. I don't know, I think I just have really bad jet lag because at home right now, it's only like, I don't even know. I have to check on my Apple Watch, which is on sleep mode, so I can't even see. I think it's like, let's see, what time is it? Just past midnight, five, six, 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 I don't know, like nine o'clock or something like that at home. Maybe even earlier. I don't know. It's early. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm just like still on home time, and I don't know why, because I usually switch over pretty quickly. But jet lag has not been my friend this time, so. Mm. Oh, well. For those of you wondering why I didn't use the earplugs, I did try them, but they were really uncomfortable for me. I have, I guess, a smaller ear canal and they just didn't work. So I'm not going to use those. Um, and then the eye mask, I don't know, I just can't stand it to be on my face either. So, Although it does get pretty dark in here with everything turned off. Here, let me just show you how dark it gets. dark. I mean, you get the full lights still, and there's a little bit of light coming from the bathroom, which I don't know if you can see. Even when you turn off the light, there is still like a little bit of a glow strip in there or something, and it does shine a little bit. So there's a bit of blue light in here, but overall, it's not terrible. So I'll update you tomorrow to let you know how I've slept. Good morning. I did not sleep. <laughs> but my breakfast got here. Uh, so I got the porridge pot, Scottish porridge. Take a look at this. Mm, it doesn't look very appetizing, but it kind of smells good. And they gave me honey to put in it, and then a little oat bar. Um, and I got a tea with milk, sugar, and then they gave me a coffee thing too. But I don't know why. I think that was a mistake. But yeah. Okay, like, it tastes okay. It's not great, but it's not bad. We are here We're in Glasgow. Um, so the train was good, and the shower in it I thought was great. Um, kind of had to keep pressing the button to have the water going, but it worked. And I'm all refreshed and ready to hit up the day.